2010 is the year of the wedge. Pros on the tour are no longer allowed to use the sharp square grooves that they've come to depend on. So what does that mean for you, the amateur? How will your game be affected? Will you still be able to impart spin on the ball and tuck it tight to the pin? Or will you have trouble keeping the ball on the green? There is a legal and honorable way to work within the new USGA rules, and it involves breakthrough technology from the Bobby Jones Golf Company. Created by short game guru Dave Pels in collaboration with master craftsman Jesse Ortiz, these wedges bring you the opportunity to execute around the greens like never before and will allow you to continue making great shots for years to come. Since this is the last year that the USGA is allowing me to make square grooves with sharp edges, it means that by early next year, they'll be gone from the marketplace. It's as simple as this. It's over for the pros with you and box grooves. This year, right now, 2010, they have to use grooves that perform at best as V grooves or worse. If they're better, they're not legal. But if you buy Bobby Jones wedges this year, these grooves are legal and will last until 2024. You've got the next 14 years. If you practice a lot, I'd say buy a couple of sets. See, pros hit greens with five irons and four irons, and they hit about seven wedges around, sometimes up to 10 if they're missing more greens. But amateurs hit 15, 20, 25 wedges around, and it's really going to affect them out of the rough. They're not going to be able to even stop the ball on the greens because they don't have as good as swings, they don't use the right kind of balls, and uh, to amateurs, backspin is a precious commodity. Dave, there's a lot of confusion out there about the USGA ruling on grooves. How does that affect the average golfer? Jesse, let me try to make this simple. If, if that's a box groove it, and it's, it's down here, this is the groove and this is the face of the wedge, a V groove is half the volume. The USGA has said, look, the pros are putting too much spin on the ball out of rough. We're gonna make them suffer when they hit it in the rough. And I don't mind that, it, that's fair. The new rules are gonna cut your backspin in half. Even when you hit a shot well and your grooves are clean before you start, they're not gonna spin as much as they used to. Dave, our Bobby Jones wedges are a little bit heavier than other wedges. And that fits into your short game philosophy. I, I love that, Jesse. In fact, in, in some ways, I think you almost can't make wedges too heavy, except if they were out of balance or something. But, but the amount these are heavier, they're just a little bit, but it helps your rhythm. See, I don't want people quick swinging wedges. I want a nice, smooth, rhythmic swing. The better your rhythm, the better your wedge game. And I love the weight of your clubs for rhythm. Dave, also, the grips on the Bobby Jones wedges are a little bit oversized too. I like a bigger grip, more open hands as you swing your wedge. You're not flipping wedges with your hands. We're hitting wedges with nice, smooth, rhythmic swings. The bigger the grip, the better it is as long as you can hold on to it. If you don't get wedges this year that have good grooves and that grooves that will last, like the Bobby Jones wear resistant grooves, uh, after the end of this year, you're going to be in serious trouble because clubs with really good grooves, backspin grooves, backspin producing grooves, are no longer allowed to be made. Let me show you the science behind what makes our wedges so special. We start out by using an exclusive steel alloy used in bearings that is very, very hard, very durable. It won't wear out. We mill that material with the proper face texture, and then we mill in the score lines. Behind this face insert, we place a 3M membrane. It's a bonding membrane. What it does is it bonds the special face insert to the body. We then press the face insert into the body and the heads go into an oven for about an hour. During that hour, the 3M membrane releases an epoxy resin that creates a bond that's even stronger than welding. But once the head cools, the 3M membrane goes back to its slightly spongy elastic state. The result, you have incredible feel with incredible durability. Look at this microscopic view of two club surfaces. On the left are Bobby Jones wedge with the precision milled diamond patterned face texture. On the right, a leading competitor. After 1,000 hits with wet sandy golf balls, the competition's face shows visible degradation, while the Bobby Jones face maintains its groove integrity. Do your wedges look like this? Once you see our precision milled faces compared to the sandblasted faces, you'll never use a sandblasted wedge again. Golf Magazine declares that Dave and Jesse have added high-tech pizzazz to a traditional wedge. 
Our wedges are available in five varieties, the 48 degree pitching wedge, the 52 degree gap wedge, the 56 degree sand wedge, the 60 degree lob wedge, and the 64 degree X wedge. If you want to start out gently, if you want to kind of sneak into this system, try the 56, replace your sand wedge or compare it to your sand wedge, and the 60, compare it to your L wedge and see if you don't see the difference in performance off the grooves of these faces. Look, if you don't know if you have good or bad grooves, there are two easy ways to test it. Number one, if you hit good shots, clean, dry shots where you make good contact with the face and they don't have backspin on, the ball's not stopping on the green, you don't have good grooves. Or if you want to test them, put your fingernail, listen to this. If your fingernails aren't catching in the edges of the grooves, they're probably worn down and rounded and they're not sharp enough. The nice thing about these grooves, they're made out of this special steel. Take it from Dave Pels and Jesse Ortiz. Improve your short game by ordering the Bobby Jones wedges today.